What's up everybody? It's your boy JP and today I got a super exclusive. This is the all new blue G9 Pro. Not even announced yet. Should be by next week though. This is not the G9 that came out almost three months ago. This is the all new G9 Pro. Check out the specs. 6.3 inch full HD plus infinity display. Has the water drop notch there. Helio P60. 4 gigs of RAM. 128 gigs internal. Triple camera. 2016 and 5 with depth sensor. And a 24 megapixel selfie camera. Look in the box here. There's some more specs here. Beautiful presentation, by the way, by Blue. Uh, Gorilla Glass 3. Um, premium glass battery cover design, and it is gorgeous. I'll get to that in a minute here. Android 9 Pie, LTE, of course. This sucker has 18-watt fast charger, as they, as they call ultra-quick charge, and it has wireless charging. Huge 4,000 milliamp battery, and, of course, uh, micro SD expansion. The fingerprint sensor on the rear, and the... Rear camera features the same super pixel slash super zoom technology that the regular G9 featured. Um, I remember watching a lot of reviews on the regular G9. I never got it and I meant to. Just just didn't happen. Um, and one of the things I, I kept hearing about in a lot of those reviews was how good the camera actually was on it for the price the introductory price when it first came out i think was 120 or 130 i know that the msrp is 180 that's what it went back up to after the introductory price and a lot of people said that you know for a phone that's less than 200 bucks the camera definitely had quality behind it the uh the 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 if i'm not mistaken on the g9 the whole super pixel super zoom technology uh, amped up the megapixels to uh, 52. Um, the G9 Pro um, obviously has a, you know, it's a MediaTek P, Helio P60 versus the P22. Um, full HD instead of, uh, instead of 720 HD. Um, this also has more RAM. And uh, not only does it have a triple camera setup on the back versus the dual of the G9, but the main sensor itself is also a better sensor. So likewise, whatever that, that whole super pixel, super zoom technology that Blue had in the G9 has, 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 has been upgraded further on the G9 Pro because as you, can, as you saw in the box, I didn't, I, I, was, I didn't actually go through the actual sentence. The super pixel with 96 megapixel super zoom. So, um, uh, basically, the, um, the 52 quote-unquote super pixel super zoom from the regular G9 has been doubled up, uh, a little bit more than doubled up, because, you know, technically 52 times 2 is, 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 well, no, it's less than half. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do my addition today. Please excuse me. Um, <laughs> 52 times 2 is obviously 104. This is not quite double 52, but it's 96. So almost double. But um, but um, nonetheless, um, I haven't been able to take the camera through its pacing, you know, through, through its paces yet. But um, if it's if it's any anything like the regular G9, being that this phone has a lot more processing power and another gig of RAM behind it, um, I'm 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 thinking that this is going to be a, a a powerhouse of a camera for the price. We get to the price in a minute, and people, please correct me too, because now that I keep talking about it, I think the regular G9 had four gigs of RAM, not three. I keep saying that this has an extra gig of RAM, but the more I keep talking about it, I I think the regular G9 had four gigs as well. But the point is, this has a much better chipset, the Helio P60 versus the P22, which was still a good chipset. Because these two phones are actually very comparable. Excuse the shaking, by the way, y'all. That's that that that's my other hand. <laughs> um, the 
these two phones, the G9 and G9 Pro, can kind of be considered the successors to the Vivo 11 and Vivo 11 Plus from last year. But, Blue has an even better phone fixing to come out. It's slated for release September 2nd, which is why I'm pretty sure this phone will come out next week. The phone in question, I will also have another exclusive. That phone will be called the Blue Bold N1. But, we'll save that for another video. Back to the G9 Pro. Um, first of all, I keep talking about... Let's go to the back here. Check it out. Triple rear camera with the flash. There's your fingerprint sensor. And look at the detail. Look at this phone. It is outright gorgeous. Gorgeous. And it feels just as good in the hands. Like, I'm serious. I'm serious. Ooh, man. Definitely a fingerprint magnet nonetheless, but this thing is beautiful. This is not only Blue's most beautiful phone to date. This is possibly one of the most beautiful phones out, period. Huawei slash Honor. Man, they're coming for you. They're coming for you hard. I'm actually using the Honor 20 to record this. So y'all tell me how it is. Minus my shaking. But, um... I have to say... Uh, I have to say, besides the, uh, the, uh, the latest Honor phones, the Honor 20 and Honor 9X, this takes a cake. And I'm not even saying that the Honor 20 and Honor 9X are designed better. I'm just saying that this design is just as good. And... And... If you watched my previous video on the Honor 20, I already talked about how nothing even came close to its design. So, if I'm telling you a couple of days later that this design is just as good, kudos to Blue. Now, granted, I know that's just my opinion, but a lot of people are gonna are are, are gonna find find the same thing out. Excuse the stuttering. A lot of people are going to find this out when they get their hands on this phone. This phone is absolutely amazing. Stunning. And I mean, it is it is really a pleasure to hold. I mean, man, ladies, seriously. Y'all know the procedures here. Let me do a smell test. Mmm. Woo! Doesn't have that scent quite like the Honor 20 for some reason. And I have no idea what that phone has going on, to be honest. But, mmm. Still, still, man, just, 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 oh, man, you're going to, y'all, y'all are going to flip when you hear the price. Y'all are going to flip. This phone, the MSRP will be 250 Well, wait, actually, it's either going to be 250 or 270 Um, but I'm expecting Blue and Amazon to introduce it at a, Further introductory, a further lowered introductory price. Um, but I'm not quite sure. Um, I think the MSRP is going to be two seventy, two sixty nine to be exact. Um, I'm seeing it for two fifty on Amazon right now. You can actually, you can actually pick this up and get it delivered by Tuesday right now on Amazon, and they have it listed for two fifty. But Amazon does that a lot with Blue's phones. They'll list them a couple days before announcement, and they'll even start shipping them. But the day that Blue actually announces them, Amazon will drop that price. And if you order the phone through Amazon before that announcement, Amazon you can't just call Amazon and get that and get that difference um, put back on your card. Best Buy would do that. Um, because I've, 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 I've actually had experience with Best Buy and a blue phone a few years back, the Vivo 5 to be exact, where that actually happened and Best Buy refunded me the difference. Amazon won't, and I've tried many times. You have to actually just order the other phone, just, just, just order the phone again at its introductory price, and then, and then send, the, uh, send the other one back that you paid more for. I mean, you basically, you're basically making, you know, different transactions. You don't want to send the one back and wait to get refunded because the introductory price is going to be over. So you're going to want to go ahead and purchase the introductory price one right then and there. And then, and then you know, 
when it comes in, send the other one back, and 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 you know, make sure to do the return on the right one, of course, because you want you want the re you want the, the 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 refund on the one you pay more for, of course. But um, but uh, if you find this on Amazon right now, you know, if you just have to have it early, hey, I understand it's a fantastic phone, and and it's definitely worth the two fifty that Amazon has it priced for. Um, but I am seeing it from other retailers for two seventy. So two fifty might be the introductory price, uh, but I still think it's going to go lower than that. I still think it's going to go. I don't think the discount is going to be a measly little twenty dollars or yeah twenty dollars. I think the discount is going to be lower than that. I, I, I'm I'm really going to say on announcement it may it may be as far down as two twenty. Reason why is because the bold in one which is going to come out a week after this, which is even better spec which again I'll get to later y'all can actually look that phone up now I mean, if you can't wait um, it's on Amazon as well type it in blue boat in one it's the phone that y'all that was leaked a month ago that had a pop-up selfie and an in display fingerprint sensor not this phone I'm talking about the blue boat in one so don't get them confused that phone Amazon listed um, on Thursday or Wednesday for three hundred. I checked it last night, Friday night, and it was down to two fifty. And it's not even due to be announced for another week and a half because this phone right now that I'm re- that, that I'm recording the G nine Pro is going to be announced next week, a week before the Bolt N one. So, and Amazon has the Bolt N one listed to come out on the second of September. The G nine Pro is supposed to formally be announced on the 26th of August, which is Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but when compared to other retailers, the Amazon price of this phone at 250 does seem like an introductory price because it's priced 270 elsewhere at other retailers that sell Blues phones at MSRP. Um, like the Wireless Boss, for example, which is an eBay seller out of Miami. Um... Um, and they don't sell Blue's phones for higher than what they are. They just sell them for the MSRP and never offer the introductory prices. Unless Blue themselves actually lower the price. Then they follow suit. Uh, but it's Amazon and Best Buy a lot of times that will have exclusive um, introductory prices on these phones. And of course that's something that they have with Blue's. You know, some kind of, you know, you know agreement there. But, um, but uh, nonetheless though... Um, you know, 250, 270, this phone is worth it. This phone is besides the besides the whole thing with the RAM, it is a it is a clear upgrade from last year's Vivo 11 Plus. The Vivo 11 Plus, the Amazon version at 6 gigs. And before any introductory price, it was at it was priced at 350. Best Buy a couple weeks later had an exclusive on the 4 gig model. That was either sold for three hundred or three twenty. I can't quite remember because it was a year ago. Um, this phone has is 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 you know it has four gigs, not six. So um, you know, so it's going to be more comparable to the slightly cheaper Vivo Eleven Plus that Best Buy sold. But um, it's 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 uh, retained everything. That the v, that 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 the Vivo Eleven Plus had, you know, uh, minus the minus the different RAM configurations, um, this this does have the this does have the storage that the six gig model had. If you remember correctly, the six gig Vivo Eleven Plus sold on Amazon had one hundred and twenty eight gigs of internal storage. The Best Buy four gig model has sixty four gigs of internal storage. This has four gigs like the Best Buy version of the Vivo Eleven Plus, but it has one hundred and twenty eight gigs internal. Like the Amazon one had with six gigs of RAM. Um, sorry if I made that little confusion. Sorry if I made that little confusion with all the numbers there, but this phone has everything. It has a, a, a Face ID. It has a wireless charging, which the Vivo Eleven Plus had. Um, it has the Helio P60. There's a lot of confusion with the processor. When this phone, this phone was actually just leaked a couple weeks ago. And it showed the MTK uh, 6750T. 
I already didn't believe that because if it's supposed to be a pro version to the G9, it's going to have something at least better than the Helio P22, which itself is better than the MTK 6750T. Um, and this has definitely a better chipset than the P22, which was already a great you know budget chipset. This has the Helio P60, though, which is phenomenal. Very overlooked, very underrated uh, chipset. I actually love the Helio P60. And um, it's phenomenal. It, it, it's phenomenal. I, I am absolutely in love with this phone. Um, you know, again, whatever the price is, I mean, you know, the MSRP is, is, is going to be 270 The 250 that Amazon has it, up, has, it, has it up for, I really think it's going to go down lower than that on announcement. Um I got this as a sponsor, so uh, you know, but 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 my opinions are, are are not biased or anything like that. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it honest with you. As many of you might have heard in the video I did for the Honor 20, I mentioned how disappointed I was out of the Zenfone 6, and I absolutely drooled for that phone, and I couldn't wait. And I was so excited when I finally got my hands on it, and I was so disappointed out of it. But y'all, I'm gonna tell you, the G9 Pro. This phone is what's up. It is freaking phenomenal. Um, I mean, oh my god! I mean, I, I, this phone has is better designed than the One Plus Seven. It has wireless charging. I mean, obviously, it's obviously it's not it's not gonna compete with it in raw power, but uh, but but um, its design is just gorgeous. It you know um um it it it, it runs it runs um stockish android it's really it's really the cleanest version of android i've really ever seen a blue phone um use besides their android go phones um and it it, it, it has the stock app drawer it doesn't have the uh the, uh the 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 hashtag style thing in the middle anymore like like on like the honor 20 still has you, you have to use the gesture to pull up the drawer very minimal bloat too very minimal bloat the only bloat i see is the opera browser and that's it and that's it. Blue has done a fantastic job. Let's see. And I'm pretty sure I can disable this. Yep. Check that out. I'm going to force stop it just to make sure it's no longer running in the background. Bam. And um, they changed a few things up in the settings menu, which they're known to do anyways. Go over that a little bit here. They just like to move things. They do it on all of their phones, no matter how close to stock they are. And if you go to About Device, it kind of gives you a little rundown of some of its new features. There it talks about the uh, the Super Zoom 96 megapixel. But, um, yeah. I'm, um, I mean, just, just holding the phone is a joy. It's snappy. It's quick. This is Blue's best phone to date. This is the best budget phone to date. Um, I mean, really, the only thing budget about this phone is the price. This phone is not a budget device. This is definitely a premium mid-range phone. This beats, to me, I ha I don't own the Galaxy uh, A70. I have watched tons of videos, my favorites being from Jay Will. Um, I have seen other I have seen other YouTubers do videos on the uh, on the Samsung Galaxy A70. I have actually handled the A70 because I have a couple of friends that have them. One of them in which I work with. Um, I should have asked him if I could do a video on it. I'm sure he wouldn't mind at all. I mean, he, he loves the videos I already do. Um, and the G70 is a great phone for the price, especially, especially being a Samsung of all brands. Very competitively priced and kudos to Samsung. And I'm going to tell you, the G9 Pro here, it definitely gives it a run for its money. Yes, I said it. Is it better than the G? Is it better than? Is it better than the A70? I think a minute ago I said G70. If I did, y'all apologize. Uh, is it better than the Galaxy A70? No. But really, I wouldn't necessarily say that the A70 is better than the Blue G9 Pro. Um, you know, I mean, the. Uh, Helio P60 is very comparable to the Snapdragon 660 and 665 from benchmarks I saw. Um, I actually already have experience with the Snapdragon 665 because I 
even though I didn't do a video on it like I said I would, I did actually, for a very short while, own the uh, Xiaomi Mi A3. That was the first phone with the Snapdragon 665. And uh, it really wasn't that much quicker than the 660. And uh, the P, the P, the uh, Helio P60 benchmark's higher than those. Um, now, of course, when talking about the Galaxy A70, you're talking about the Snapdragon 675 that also powers the Moto Z4, which I do have experience with and did do a video on. Um, and, of course, I also did a video on the, um, on the Google Pixel 3a, which had the Snapdragon 670. And, uh, man, I noticed, I, uh, you know, comparing the Helio P60 to the Snapdragon 675, the 670, and the 665, I, I know, I, I, can, I can honestly say that they are not better than the Helio P60 in real-world usage. And even the benchmarks do not show that big or astronomical of a, of a benchmark difference, except when talking about the... Um, the um, the Snapdragon 675 it, it does have a bigger gap, but um, Blue actually there, there's a there's a screenshot on one of the sellers on eBay of this phone uh, that's actually comparing the benchmarks of this to the um, to the Moto G7, which you know is the most popular budget phone because even that isn't a budget phone it's just budget priced. The Moto G7 is a is a fantastic you know mid range next to mid range premium. This phone gets higher benchmarks than that. He has screen one of the sellers has screenshots up of it uh, comparing it to to them. Um, but yeah, this phone is what's up. Uh, wireless charging, fast fingerprint sensor. It's a it's a physical one on the rear as you saw. Triple rear camera, absolutely gorgeous design. I mean, I mean you know, th this is this is the sexiest freaking design. I'm not even gonna lie. And this is a this is a phone from Blue, from Blue. See, Blue, Blue, and it is phenomenal. Here's all the stuff with it: SIM ejector tool, your sticker, your uh, glass screen protector, charging brick, your headphones, the USB Type C cable. Yo, I, I'm I'm so impressed with this phone. And like I said, I'm getting the Bold N1. I'll probably get it before it comes out as well. Just, I, just like I got this one. Be on the lookout. That phone is even better. That phone will actually be not just externally, but internally the successor to Blue's, to the, to the Vivo. Because this, this, phone, this phone is a successor to the Vivo 11 Plus in terms of physical upgrades. Okay? It's a slightly bigger screen, 6.3 versus 6.2. You get the teardrop notch instead of the eyebrow notch. Um, um, the screen on the Vivo 11 Plus was gorgeous. This, the, to me, I can see a difference. This looks even better to me. Even better build quality on an already great quality build of the Vivo 11 Plus. Um, I mean, this just it just took it a, a, a you know a step further. You know, triple camera instead of the dual. Uh, better selfie camera. Um, uh, you know. Um, you know, if you're comparing it to the Best Buy Vivo 11 Plus, the RAM's the same. It's not less. Now, if you're comparing it to the Amazon one that was sold, then yes, it is less RAM. But uh, but uh, this does this does keep the internal storage that the Amazon Vivo 11 Plus had. Once again, as I've already gone over, not to repeat myself, uh, it, re it, it retains the wireless charging. I've tested it. It works great. I mean, come on. OnePlus 7 doesn't even have wireless charging with its glass design. The Honor 20 doesn't even have wireless charging. So, technically, this takes the cake as the best design, the best looking phone. I just, that, that solidifies it. I, 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 just, I just decided, just decided that. Because this phone looks just as great as the Honor 20. And I raved about the Honor 20's design on my last video. I said it was the best looking phone by far, the sexiest phone. This is just as sexy and has wireless charging. The Honor 20 Pro doesn't even have wireless charging. And that Bold N1 steps it up a notch. Pop-up selfie camera. All screen. Not a notch in sight. It does go back to a double lens camera instead of a triple rear. Um, I don't know if it's going to have the whole super pixel... Uh, 
you know, technology that this and the regular G9 have, or if that, because that may be something that's exclusive to the G9s, I'm not sure. We'll see, you know, because, uh, you know, we'll see what the what the box says and what the sticker says on the screen and stuff like that when I get it. Um, but, um, um, it's going to have the Helio P70, not the P60. So it's going to be a true upgrade both externally and internally. So be on the lookout for it. Um, it does only have four gigs of RAM, I think, still. Unfortunately, I would I, I would really like this. I really wish it would have had at least six with the Helio P70. Uh, but that Helio P70 is alone is an upgrade from the P from from the P60, which is already a fantastic chipset. Um, it has the pop up selfie camera and it has an in display fingerprint sensor, and it's AMOLED. So the bold in one. Watch out for it. And like I said, that phone is already priced on Amazon for two fifty when it was originally priced for three hundred. And I haven't seen it at any other retailer yet, like I did with this phone. So I'm not able to compare different prices other than Amazon's, you know, you know, difference in price that they did within three days or two or three days. Because um, it was either Wednesday or Thursday, it was up for three hundred, and then last night, Friday night, because it's a Saturday evening. Friday night it was it was down fifty bucks to 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 two fifty and it still has a release date set for September second. Now that now that phone is definitely worth will definitely be worth three hundred given the specs. Two fifty? If that phone comes out and dunk it for two fifty and you don't jump on it, I mean I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you because that bold in one has everything, everything that that that, that you would want in a flagship phone. And yes, it has wireless charging just like this phone does. This phone is near flagship quality. I mean, seriously. I mean, I know the Helio P60, I know it's not no Snapdragon 855 or uh, or, or, or Kirin 980, but it is MediaTek's flagship. Well, it's, it was last year's MediaTek flagship. Uh, you know, their flagship now is the is the G is the uh, is the the the, uh, the P90 uh, and the G90 which is for gaming. But the P60 is no slouch. Y'all saw that the uh, I don't I don't know if, if it hasn't it hasn't really caught on yet, but New Mobile did announce two almost two weeks ago that the New Mobile G4 was completely canceled. It's been canned. It's not coming out. If you were waiting for that phone, I implore you to get this phone. And honestly, if the New Mobile G4 was still to come out, this phone still beats it in every way imaginable. Every way imaginable. I mean. The G4 really wasn't any better of a buy than the, you know, than the, um, um, uh, it wasn't any better of a buy than the Vivo 11 Plus already was. You know, it just, you know, and, uh, and, 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 and remember, the Vivo 11 Plus came out this time last year for 350 This phone is going to cost max 270 That is almost a $100 difference. And even though it's internally spec the same, everything externally has definitely been upgraded. I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, uh, the, the the wire charging is faster, the wireless charging is faster. It's a better design. I know that that can be subjective at times, but come on now, this is better design. Let's be honest. Um, y'all, sorry I made this video so long. Just been very impressed with this phone. Very impressed with Blue. Kudos to them. The G9 Pro is freaking awesome. And I can't wait to get the Bold N1. Very excited. Very happy I got this early. I, I'm happy I was able to bring it to my channel. This phone is definitely not a budget phone. It's, it's definitely mid-range premium. But for under $300, this is, this, for under three, this is the best phone for under $300. As of right now. We'll see how the Bold N1 is, which, which is going to be even better. I already know. I mean, there's no question about it. But Blue, y'all did your thing. Super impressive. Y'all hit me up in the comments below. Tell me what y'all think. Glad I got to bring this here. Sorry for such a long video. I just, I'm just really excited to get this here for everybody here. I hope y'all enjoyed. Hit me up in the comments again. Sorry for repeating myself. Don't be too hard on me. You know, just, uh, you know, shoot me some likes, subscribe. Let's talk. Let's do this. Peace.